Before we start the tutorial, I wanted to take a few seconds and mention that if you want to learn on how to use the landscape system within UDK, you may want to check out UDK Landscape How to Guide to Landscape Creation. You can find out more at worldoflevelldesign.com slash guides and just click over to the UDK tab. Alright, now on to the tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two techniques on how you can generate landscape terrains very quickly. This will help you to get some sort of formation to start with, so you don't have to manually sculpt the terrain. We're going to use this template as a starting point. So I'm going to select this ground plane and delete it. And let's create our landscape so we can work with something. So I'm going to set the height map size to a relatively medium size, 505 by 505. Create a landscape. So the first tool I want to show you to quickly get something going without manually having to come in and paint the height map elevation is to use the noise tool. So left click to enable. Let's fly up a little higher up above. Let's switch our camera speed to very fast. And with the noise tool enabled, we want to increase our brush size to a very large value. And now let's see what the default settings look like. Control left click and begin to paint. Alright, that's a little bit too much. So we can come in and let's reduce our tool strength. And let's decrease our noise scale. Tool strength will control the intensity of the brush. Lower the value, less intense the noise tool will be. And noise scale will control how much noise scale do you want within that brush. Lower value will give you smaller noise scale and larger value will give you larger noise scale. So now let's go ahead and control left click again and go over the terrain and this will begin to help to get some random height map within our landscape. So let's go ahead and undo and we want to control the noise a little bit better. So under noise we have three options that we can use. We can do both which will do the elevation of addition and subtraction which will elevate the height map and subtract from the height map create our lower points and highest points. If we use just addition, this will only elevate our height map. And if we use subtraction, this will carve away or lower our height map. So let's go ahead with addition and control left click. And instead of just control left click and, and dragging all over the landscape, we want to control left click and build up our terrain height map gradually. Let's come over here, let's get this going, let's increase our noise scale, and let's lower our brush. I'm using the bracket keys, the left bracket key to lower our brush size. And let's begin to control left click and dabble in around areas to build it up gradually. Let's increase our brush. And now we can go around our landscape and quickly form some sort of beginning starting position of our height map. So let's increase our strength, let's lower our noise scale. As you can see the higher the noise scale the less detail we get. And we can just go over modifying the brush size as we get closer to some of the areas here and where the character might be. So we can continue doing this until we get a good starting point and this took us a few minutes and we already have something going. So from this here we can continue using the noise scale, addition, subtraction or both or we can come back in, we can smooth and we can manually paint and refine our shape of the terrain. We can also come back in and use some of the erosion tools to add extra detail. The second tool that I want to show you that will help you to form your landscapes very quickly is the erosion. In specifically thermal erosion. Left click to enable it and let's go ahead and come up so we can see our landscape. And here we have a little bit more options to control of how this tool is used. So let's just use the default. Let's control left click and begin to see what it does. So this is not enough for us to form the landscape. So let's go ahead and undo. Let's increase our tool strength. And let's try it again. Control left click. 
let's get a little lower and still not enough so now let's use instead of subtraction let's switch it to both just like we use for the noise tool now we can get more variation of elevated height map and lowered height map so let's switch over to addition and get a little closer right here control left click and drag all over the landscape and now we're beginning to get some sort of a mountainscape going and if we just control left click to gradually build it up let's come over here control left click a couple of times and now let's click Control left click and drag. Now let's modify view settings. Let's change our iteration number. Let's raise it higher. Let's change threshold to a higher value. This will give us a little steeper edges on our terrain. If we lower this, this will create less angled peaks and it will actually destroy our landscape. Now the erosion tools are used for detailing and forming the natural way that the sun, the wind and the water that creates erosion within the terrain. So some of these tools won't apply directly to our situation right now because what we're doing is we are forming our landscape. We're actually modifying the height map to get a base going. So we may not want to mess around with these too much. and get some sort of a good shape going first. So get these values somewhere in the middle and just kind of begin to drag to get something going. Now we got a little bit more variation of elevated and lowered landscape. And now at this point we can come back to use the paint tool and manually modify some of the shape of the mountains and then we can use the smooth tool to fix a few areas and we can come back even use the noise tool to modify some of the other areas within the landscape and add a little bit more detail. So just like the noise tool after a few minutes using thermal erosion we have a good base to start with. We have good height map going that we didn't have to manually paint ourselves. There is another erosion. Hydraulic erosion is not very good for this use of our landscape to quickly generate some sort of formation. It's just not enough uh, variation that has been caused by hydraulic erosion to create some sort of a peak landscape going. So I would avoid using hydraulic erosion for the purposes of quickly forming your landscape. This is great for adding detail to already create a landscape but not to quickly get a height map going like this. So use either the noise tool or the thermal erosion. And then finally when you get something going, come back in and use some of the other tools to detail and refine the shape.